Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the St. Matthew Baptist Church Sunday School. Man, we're grateful to God to be once again in this house of worship. We praise God for you and we're thankful once again that God has given us the breath of life. Amen. That we might come together, that we might lift him up in worship and in prayer and just be grateful for what he has done for us. Amen. Amen. So we we prepare to look to our Sunday school lesson today. Our primary text will come from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. Our printed text is verses 1 through 5. Uh, the, the lesson title is Faith in God's Purpose. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So we will give you to our music ministry, and then we will return and look to our lesson for today. Thank you. Amen. Amen.
come into this house to worship him. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we are grateful once again for your many blessings that you have given us once again the gift of a new day. We thank for God that and we are are are, are hold firm to the, the notion and the words that you said to us that you would never leave us nor would you ever forsake us. So we find comfort in knowing that thou art with us. We pray, O oh Heavenly Father, today that you would allow our day to be uh, bright and, and sunny. We pray, God, that you would continue to shower down your grace and your mercy. We just ask, God, that, that you would continue to provide all the things that you see that we stand in need of. We thank you for our last night's lying down and that we were able to, to rise up this morning with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. We pray this morning for God that those that might still be lying on their beds of affliction, we pray, God, because we know that you can do all things. So we lift all things up to you. We pray, dear God, for the shepherd of this congregation. We pray, God, that you would continue to bless him. We lift him up to you, O oh God, and we pray that you would continue to strengthen him endow him with knowledge and understanding that he might continue to do what it is that you've given for him to do. And then, God, we pray that as we prepare to look to your words, that you would let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. In the awesome name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Our lesson today comes from the book of Rebecca, <coughs> chapter 2 verse 5, but beginning with verse number 1 through verse number 5. But I want us to kind of set the context for where we, we are today. Habakkuk, uh, referred to as a minor prophet, he's not mentioned very much, but in these chapters he has a very strong message. He has, in the beginning, he has the question of God. And he begins in, 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 in chapter 1 and, and uh Verse 2, he says, Oh, Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Uh, that, that, that is a question that I think if we live in today's society, I found myself wondering that same thing. Lord, how long? How long will, must we wait? It seems like all the things that are going on in our world and our society, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm having trouble seeing the end. I'm having trouble seeing how we're going to get out of what we're in. It seems like things are not getting better. They're getting worse. And the perpetuation of, 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 of uh, evil seems to be increasing. And I, I found myself being kind of like our Becca Lord, how long? He said, they even cry out to you violence and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquities and cause me to see trouble? from plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore, the law is powerless and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous, therefore a perverse judgment proceeds. This, has, this is not new. What we are experiencing today Amen. is not new. Habakkuk asked a question. He, he, he says, why do you show me and, and cause me to see trouble? Yeah. Every time you turn around, there's trouble. Yeah. That, 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 that there are awful things that are happening and occurring. He said, for plundering and violence are before me. Yeah. There's strife and contention arises. Yeah. Everywhere we turn, there, there, there's fighting, there's arguing, there's a contention for everything, our, our system of government is in total chaos. Yeah. Amen. And they're still telling us everything is all right. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is that we have the benefit to be able to see it with our own eyes. Yeah. Amen. We will be in the midst of, of, of a violent uh, contention, and they will tell us everything is okay. <laughs> Habakkuk said that, 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 Lord, if I see it, I know you see it. Yeah. And I can't understand. He, he said, for plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention. Yeah. Therefore, the law is, have you ever felt like that here lately? Yeah. That the law seems to, there are some people who seemingly are above the law. Yeah. 
there are some things that people do on a continual basis that if you and I done it, mama would have to come visit us on Saturday. Come on now. That, 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 it, it seems like the law is powerless. It's not that we don't have the things in place. They refuse to use it. We are bending it to fit whatever it is we need it to be. He said injustice never goes forward. Seems like no matter what we do, the unjust seems to look like they, they continue to, to stay on top. Seems like It seems like that they're winning. But as we'll find in this contention that they're really not winning. Amen. God will, will speak to Rebecca. He will answer his question. He said, for the wicked surrounds the righteous and therefore perverse judgment. Does it seem like you ever felt like you're surrounded by the wicked? Yeah. It, it seems like the ranks of those that love the Lord seems to be shrinking. <laughs> I, I don't think it's shrinking. I think we need to learn to lift our voices. Amen. I don't think it's shrinking. I think that the, the ones that are doing sinful things just are screaming louder. It, it, it seems like it's more of them. Y'all remember when, 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 when God told the captain, take your men and put a few over here and put a few over there, put a few over there, and give them some, some, some things to bang on. And on the, on the given signal, because see, it was a lot more of the enemy than it was of them. And they said, make a whole lot of noise. And, and when they did that, the enemy thought it was, they were so much surrounded, the scripture says they began to kill themselves. Yeah. Amen. Our problem is we need to lift up our voices. Yeah. Amen. We need to quit being quiet and being afraid. I'm not talking about joining the fight. Yeah. I'm just saying lift our voices. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so in, in, our, in our text today, Habakkuk has asked God two questions. And then after he had received his answer, now yeah. that the, 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 the and, and some of the things that they, they were debating whether or not the, 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 the question about, about questioning God, there is a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference when asking God a question and questioning God. Yeah. 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 Not the same thing. Asking God a question because I'm trying to get understanding, I think is, I, I do it all the time. Yeah. Questioning God is questioning whether or not God is God, whether or not God is able, questioning whether or not God is all powerful, questioning whether or not he can do it. Lord, if you can, would you? But Habakkuk had asked God uh, the question, how long must we wait? How, how long will it be before uh, you do something about all of this strife and contention that we are uh, are having to deal with and sometimes it seems as though that no matter what we do no matter where we turn there are those that seemingly uh, 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 are uh, they don't just don't be able to seem to fail no matter what they do no matter what they say they call them Teflon people nothing seems to stick to them Nothing seems to stick to them, no matter what they say, no matter what they do. But, 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 but God has an answer. Yeah. He had an answer for Rebecca, and he has the same answer for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I hear what, what's going on. I see what's going on. Yeah. I know what they're doing. Yeah. But I remind you that I'm God, and I'm God all by myself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So after ans asking the question, Rebecca, in our lesson today, uh, if you'll notice, there's been a continuing theme in our lessons for a while now. And, and, and the, the, the continuing theme has been about faith. Yeah, yeah. Having faith and trust and believing. And I think that, that, that part of our um, dilemma today is learning to access and stand on our faith. Yeah. And faith sometimes means believing in the faith when everything in my natural Understand and tells me this cannot work out. Amen. But having enough faith to trust God, Amen. to be still. I keep seeing something over and over, and it seems to be pretty popular where it says that, that it, when get up from the table when respect is no longer being served. But I came by to tell you, if, if Dr. King had got up yeah. and just left the table when he wasn't being respected, 
I don't know about you, but even in in my in 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 in, in my in, in my secular job, if I got up from the table, yeah. every time I was disrespected, yeah. our deal is that we all not get up from the table. We need to stay in our seat and trust God. Amen. We'd say what He tells you to say. Yeah. Be quiet when He tells you to be quiet. Yeah. Amen. But don't run. We've got to learn to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. I know there's somebody else here that can identify that, that go someplace every day. I used to pull up in my parking place and sit there and pray before I got out of my car. Because I got to go in here and deal with these folks again. And then, Lord, if it don't be for you, I'm going to leave here in trouble. I'm talking about real stuff. I'm talking about I know before I get there what, I'm gotta, what I got to deal with. Hey Amen. But don't get up from the table. Trust in God. Believe what he said. Because what does the scripture tell us? That if God be for you, who can be against you? And I, I'm a living witness that if you'll just stay, not that it's going to be easy. It, it's really rough sometimes. Huh? Sometimes that song was so true, I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Amen. But let me tell you, stay the course. Amen. Because if I left when I wanted to leave, when I threw up my hands and said, I'm done with this, God said, no, I didn't give you permission. I've opened too many doors for you. Amen. I, I provided for you. When they said no, I said yes. So don't leave me. Don't quit on me. And man, Rebecca, Rebecca asked the question, and then Rebecca decided when he received his answer, he said, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. After he had asked his second question, he, 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 he said that I'm going to go back where I'm supposed to be. That right there is, is, is a very poignant statement for me. I first read this years ago. This, this, is, this, this right here sticks with me because one Sunday and I hadn't been preaching very long but I got here that morning <laughs> and pastor wasn't feeling well <laughs> and he said you're going to have to preach. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> yeah, y'all know y'all remember those significant moments in your life? <laughs> and for whatever reason, just out of the blue, I'd read this scripture the night before. Amen. He, 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 he said that, that, and what stuck with me, he said, I will stand up on my, I, one of the lessons I want us to get out of this is that you need to get back in your spot. You need to be while, God, while you're waiting for your, once you pray, and ask God, get back in your spot. Amen. He said, I will, I will stand my watch and set me upon the tower. The reason why that our children are being treated the way they're doing because we have not been on our watch. Amen. The reason why our babies are, are on Facebook doing things that, that are just ought not be done even by grown folks. Come on now, because we are not standing on our watch. Yeah. We need to get back upon the tower, see, because you can't see at ground level. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if we're God, God says we, he, he, God is high and lifted up. He can see things yeah. that you can't see from ground. So if you're with him, Habakkuk said, I'm going to get back up here so I can watch, so I can see what's going on and set me up on the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say. And what shall the answer when I, re I don't know when he answers me, if he's going to give me a hand clap or he's going to be rebuked. But whatever it is, I'm going to wait to see what the Lord yeah, yeah. has to say. Yeah. When you get up off your knees, get back on your job and wait to see what don't anticipate. Don't try to guess. Just wait and see what God has to say. Yeah. Well. And, and I know I can't be the only one, but waiting is not my strong suit. I'm not a very patient person. That's, I, I have a hard time. My concentration, after a while, it gets, 
I'll be thinking about something else. Yeah. Hey, man, if I go to watch a movie, if it ain't good, right off the jump. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> they said, just stay there for a while. It's going to get better. <laughs> it may be, but I probably won't see it. <laughs> hey, man. He, he, he said, but I will wait to see. Y'all know what the old folks used to say? I'm going to run and see what the end's going to be. A part of our dilemma now is that we have become so distracted. See, there's too many things vying for our attention. And we start off over here and we wind up over there. Amen. He said, but I'm going to watch and I'm going to wait to see. And whatever God says, that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes God answers me, yes. Sometimes it's a resounding no, and sometimes I just don't get anything. But whatever it is, my, 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 my determination is that I'm going to wait to see what God's going to, I'm going to ask my question, and then I'm going to wait to see what the answer is. Our problem is sometimes we'll, we'll ask God, and before we get up, we've already decided what the answer is. We knew what we were going to do when we got down there. We were just wanting God to stamp whatever it is. I tell a friend of mine the other day, no, you, you can't ask God to stop being God. Oh, I'm praying for God to help me. No, because what you're trying to do is wrong. I can tell you right now, God is not going to help you do that. Amen. Amen. So you might as well pray about something else. I, we, we, we have to be able and willing while we're on our tower. Now, now, now remember, what we're standing on is the Lord. That ain't you. Sometimes we get high and lifted up in ourselves. But we need to be re re reminded that what God does through us, we have to attribute it to him. The things that God has allowed us to do, the good things God has allowed us to accomplish, we need to be quick to remind them it wasn't, it wasn't because I was so this or I was so that. It was because God was on my side. Yeah. Yeah. And I learned in my life that if I stay in my lane, yeah. there's less opportunity for a collision. Amen. Hmm? I, I've learned that as I've gotten older, sometimes you just need to be quiet. I've got older, I've got weaker, I've got slower. I have to decide. I ain't finna say nothing today. <laughs> when there was a time. <laughs> but I've been up on my tower. And I've seen how things turn out. Amen. So, so he says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain up on the tables that they may run that read it. He said, I, what I need you to do, Habakkuk, is that I'm going to give you something. I'm going to answer your question. Yeah. And what I tell you, I need you to write it down. Yeah. Because some of these things that I'm going to tell you are going to happen, and you're not going to be around. Yeah. Some of these things I'm going to impart to you are going to happen long after you have gone yeah. from the scene. Yeah. But I need you not only to write the vision, but I need you to make it plain. Yeah. <clears throat> So when they read it, yeah. they may run. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been, been, been received a revelation from God that make you want to run? I've been praying about this yeah. thing. Yeah. I've been wondering. I've been struggling. Yeah. And when God finally answered my question, yeah. I, I can't wait to go tell somebody, yeah. amen, about what God has done. Yeah. He said, I need you to write the vision, and I need you to make it plain what upon the tables because I want them to read it right now. Don't write it down in the scrolls. Fold it up and store it away somewhere. I need you to write it because I need a permanent record. Amen. Is that they may run, that read it. That, see, once you finally get the revelation of whatever it is that God has for you, then we need to be prepared to go and do that. How many times have we prayed and asked God for something All right. and we were not yet prepared to do what we were asking God for? Yeah. Well. See, some things, because it's in your reach, yeah. don't mean you ought to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. Because God ha ha has made it, God gives you enough intellect, enough sense to understand that I can, yeah. but I ought not. Yeah. 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 When he writes the vision and he makes it plain. See, for a long time, my vision was confused. I thought if, if I saw it, if I liked it, I just got it. He says that, that the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah. In other words, what I tell you now, don't get, don't get confused, don't get upset, because you might not be a, you might not be around to see the results. Amen. And when I, when, I, when I look at this, it reminds me of our elders, of people that came before us. Yeah. A lot of things they did yeah. that they knew that they would not reap the benefit of. I remember my, 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 my grandmother and my aunts and my uncles that were talking about the things that they were doing, that they understood that what they were doing was not for them. It was for those to come. Hey Amen. Somebody, some, somebody much more poetic and I wrote that, 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 that old men plant trees that they know they will never sit under the shade of. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And, and we ought to do things in preparation for those that will come. Hey man, I, I, everything that I do ought not to be for me right now. Amen. Because there are some that are coming up behind us. That's why the scripture reminds us to train up a child, invest in them, yeah. put something in them, yeah. so that when you are not there, it will perpetuate. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He said that, that it is a vision for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Now, this, this, this right here is, he said, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. Then it said, it will not tarry. Amen. Now, he just said, though it tarry. Wait. See, in other words, it seemed like to you, it's taking a long time. Yeah. Uh, you need to wait. Yeah. But the reality of it is, it's going to be right on time. Yeah. What did he just tell him before that? It is for an appointed. In other words, I've already appointed the time when this will be revealed. There are some things that I know now that I think I wish I'd known them back then. But if I'd known them back then, I wouldn't have known how to use them. Amen. Huh? Amen. And, and I found out there are some things that it don't do me. See, see we spend a lot of time seeking knowledge that are, is of no use to us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hey man, the other day there was something wrong with my with my truck, and I got my little book out, and I started. And I quickly realized the instructions right here, and I still don't know how to fix it. I'm looking at the diagram, and this thing, I was like, I'm taking this thing to the shop because this ain't making no sense to me. I can be spending my time doing something else. Hey man, that's not my aptitude. Hey man, hey man. So he 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 says that, but it will not tarry. It will come, and it will come at the appointed time. Yeah. There are some things <clears throat> that are just now in my life becoming clear. Yeah. Things that I've thought of, that i wondered about for a long time. You know what I've learned? That there is something about waiting on the Lord. Yeah. It, it's something about, because when God makes it clear, it will be clear. Yeah. There won't be anything ambiguous about it. You won't have to wonder anymore. It, you, 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 God won't give it to you a little bit and leave some out. Yeah. I've learned to wait yeah. on the Lord because I've learned that there is an appointed time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and let me tell you this. If you have faith and wait and trust, God will do exactly what he said he Amen. will do. Amen. If you earnestly ask him for understanding... God will give you understanding. Amen. That don't mean in the meantime you need to go take a seat. Because there's some stuff he's already Amen. made you understanding of. Yeah. Amen. Be about our father's business. But while you're waiting, somebody said while you're waiting on the Lord, we need to wait on the Lord. Yeah. In other words, we need to be about doing the work. Yeah. Amen. Write the vision. Make it plain for an appointed time. He says now, at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Yeah. If you want the truth of things, yeah. wait for the answer from God. Yeah. Hmm? 
If, if you really want the, the, the real understanding about something, ask God. What does the scripture say? If you seek understanding, ask it of God. If you seek wisdom, ask it of God. I, 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 I have come to the resolution that, that my job, what God, is for me to get back up on the wall and be in the spot where God has assigned me to be. Because while you're down here trying to take care of somebody else's business, the enemy is sneaking in where you're supposed to be watching. You you were not present on your post. Amen, brothers? We need to get back up on the wall. We need to get back in our place. Amen? Amen? We, 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 we need to be in our signed position. Amen. We need to return to being the provider and the protectors of our home. Yeah. Amen. Oh, man, I'm just, I'm just telling you what God told me. Yeah. He said we, we need to be back where, where it ought to be, and not just for me and mine. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes when it's late at night and you, you see some woman and her children walking out across the dark parking lot, take a minute. Keep an eye on them. See, because there are some folks out there that don't aim to do no good. Amen. Quit letting your children get by with anything. Guilty. There's some stuff that I should have straightened out. Amen. But let, let, let me tell you, I, 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 I've come to the realization that when you're not in your spot, when you are not watchful, Amen. Things happen that you could have prevented. Amen. When you hear a noise, don't send your wife to go see what it is. Come on now. And I'm telling you because I, that, that's true. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day that I was talking about my granddaughter and the things that they were doing and they were this and they said, you know, that's got to be kind of expensive, but I tell you what better investment than we can make in our children. What what better investment can can see see because my time is about done. There, there, there ain't much more, but but we gotta invest in those that are coming up behind us. Amen. Amen. So I've decided that that Apple and Gucci and all that, that there's a better way to spend it. Come on, somebody. When, when we get back in our place, God will give you the understanding that you need. See, some things that I used to thought I couldn't live without, they don't even make sense anymore. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He, he says that, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but, but the just shall live, how? By faith. Yeah. Hmm? The ones that are lifted up, in other words, those prideful people. They already think they got the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Saw some other day that said, said the, uh, the, the, the woman told her child, go, won't you just go ahead and leave now that you are, since you already know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Kid was about 12 years old. And said, but won't you just go on and leave now since you already know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Those prideful people. Yeah. You know somebody you can't tell anything? No matter what you say, no matter what the situation is, they already know the answer. They say, but the just shall live. That's why people that don't know God, that don't trust God, this faith thing does not make any sense. When you tell people I'm trusted in the Lord and you sick, you lost your job, don't know how you're going to pay your bills, and you're saying, I will trust in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up, giving me another day, and the day looking at you funny. I've come to the understanding that I, I, quit, I quit getting angry with them because God made me the, gave me the understanding that they just don't understand. It doesn't make any difference. Scripture tells us that for some folks it's just foolishness. They think these things that, that, that I trust in the, in the Lord is foolish. He says, yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man 
neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell, and it is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth upon him all people. They gather around. There are some folks that desire to get. Their desire is never finished. Their desire is never quenched. No matter what they have, they want more. I was reading something a little while ago that was talking about uh, the company Apple was the first or one of the to be worth more than a trillion dollars. And if they're worth more than a trillion dollars, why my phone still cost so much? <laughs> Come on now. But they keep doing more. People that are multi, multi, they just keep and they're stressing and striving because they want more. And not only do they want to do it legit, they will take from a little person. Even though they have much, they will come and buy up all the property. Raise the tax rate so much so the folks that 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 that, that grew up there that li- can't afford even the not they, not even the house payments they can't afford the taxes. Amen. They want more and they want more and they want more. But Habakkuk is is learning that we live by faith, yeah. that we trust in God. Sometimes we just move too soon. Sometimes we, 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 because we're not firmly rooted and grounded, when it starts looking like the storm is getting too ragey. When the light, have, have you ever been, when I was a, 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 a little boy, I used to be deathly afraid of thunder. I didn't know any better. I was deathly afraid of the thunder <laughs> until I got old enough to realize Somebody put it like this, the thunder's just the noise, boys. The lightning does the work. <laughs> if you hear the thunder, you done already survived the danger. You hear me? Once you hear the thunder, the lightning, the part that can hurt you, is already gone. Yeah. Amen. Understanding, having faith and trust and believing that I'm going to stand right here. In my place, I will stand upon my watch. And say, Habakkuk decided after he had asked God the question, I'm going to stand up on my watch and set me upon the tower. What? And will watch to see what he will say. Don't move until God tells you to move. Don't leave unless God tells you to leave. Trust in him. Have faith and believe that no matter what my eyes see, I serve a God that can see clearer. No matter what my ears are hearing, I have a God that knows the truth. And if I would just be still, trust and believe and know that thou art God and things that that, that used to cause us to be afraid. When I didn't know any better, I believed that they had the power to control my life. But now that I understand it better, Amen. That my life is in the hands of someone that is more powerful than anything this world, this earth could bring against us. Amen. And so faith in God's purpose. God has a purpose. God has a reason. And I just I I go back to this to, to this third verse where it says that that it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. That, that, that right there was for me. Wait for it. Wait for it. It seems like it's taken a long time. But you know what I found out? That, that the reason why it's taken a long time, because you keep peeping out the door looking for it. <laughs> if you're going to do what you're supposed to do, you'll be amazed how fast time will go by. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. You wanna, that's, that's, why, that's why it seemed like your, your FedEx took so long. Every time a car drive by, is that it? (laughs) Amen. Trust in God. Wait on him. And trust and believe and know that while you're waiting, God is still at work. Amen. Amen. He's not trying to figure it out. It's already done. It's just that appointed time. You remember what he said? There's an appointed time. That appointed time just not 
has arrived yet. And I thank God that he's let me see some appointed time. That he's made me to understand some things that I did not understand before. He's made me to know some things that I didn't know before. I think Pastor mentioned to us he was in the last week or so that don't be afraid to say that I understand it better. Don't, don't be afraid to say this is what I used to think. But now God has revealed to me clearer. Yeah. And what, don't keep standing on something that you know is no longer. You might have been sincere. You might have honestly thought that. But if God reveals to you better, yeah. you ought to be willing to say, you know, yeah. when I was a child, I thought like a child. Yeah. <laughs> but when I became a man, yeah, amen, I had to put away childish things. Yeah. I understand it better now. And, since I, and, and, I, and, I, and I appreciate it because he said that, that since I understand it better, now I got to tell y'all better. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let your pride get the best of you. Yeah. I ain't, no, I ain't, I've been telling them this and I ain't finna change. No. If God tells you better, yeah. come on now. Yeah, I'm Amen. God bless you. Father God in heaven, we thank you so much for all the blessings you continue to bestow upon us. We thank you, God, because we realize that if it had not been for you on our side, we would have been struck down long ago. We're grateful, God, and we pray that you would continue to watch over us and to keep us. We pray, God, that you continue by the renewing of our mind, allowing us to seek more clearer, providing us understanding. We pray, God, that we continue to seek your face in all that we do, and that we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that as we move forward in our service, that you will allow the visitation of your Holy Spirit, that it might move forward with us. These things we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.